Captain's log 2019.13, man. Our journey through hyperspace has so far been uneventful, man, and the sludge reactor is functioning at optimal capacity. But I gotta say, man, it's pretty quiet out here in hyperspace, man. I wonder if there's anything on the radio. Gotta need a song to sing along to or something, man. Jumpin' Jiminy, that's the song of the intergalactic hippie horn, man. Looks like one of our brothers out there is in trouble. We need to crank this sucker up to 1.21 gigawatts. There's a fellow hippie in need, man. Hang tight, brother. Red Bob's on the way, man. Hey, Brother Green, you called me in? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Hermacraft's first official hippie commune, where Ren, Bob, and Green have joined forces against the man over there in Area 77. After picking up the frequency of the hippie horn somewhere in hyperspace, Renbob turned his van around and came straight back here at the speed of light. Because as every hippie in the world knows, when that horn is blasted, there's only one thing to do. Set up your van, play some music from the 70s, light a fire, and raise your fist in the general direction of the man. Unfortunately, there's one little problem. Ren Bibbidi Bob has no idea how to play Minecraft. So at precisely 6.34 a.m. this morning, he contacted me on his CB radio and he's asked me to come out here and help Grian build up this commune into the hippie headquarters just outside of Area 77. And Grian and I are going to have a great time out here building this little community and hopefully taking down Area 77 in the most peaceful way possible, of course. Now, I'm not entirely sure what Ren Bob wants from me because he He's currently having a nap in the van after traveling approximately seven light years to get here. And also, for those of you guys who watched the last episode, you'll know that we've got a bit of a punishment to do in this particular episode. So while I can't wait to get to work with Grian out here on the Hippie Commune, for the rest of this episode, we're going to have to hand it over to Tomato Yoshi, who, just like Ren Bob, has absolutely no idea how to play Minecraft. Luckily for our favorite rat on the server, he actually knows how to read somehow, and uh, I've put together a little bit of a quest book for him in today's episode. We're going to try and teach Tomato Yoshi to play Minecraft from the very beginning. And if Mr. Tomato follows the instructions in this book, he should kind of know how to play Minecraft, even though I have no idea how he's going to be using a mouse and keyboard with his claws. Should be very interesting to watch. So next episode, we'll be getting down to helping Ren Bob out here at the Hippie Commune. But for the rest of this episode, guys, I've got a punishment to do. It's gonna be super derp and super cringe. I hope you guys are ready for it. And if you do enjoy it, please show me some love in the comments and hit that freaking like button because to make this episode, I gotta tell you, is gonna be rather painful. Over to you, Tomato Yoshi. Good luck, my friend. Hello, young ones. I am your sensei, Tamato Yoshi, coming at you from the Dragon Dog Dojo. Please come in. You are welcome. For the past few weeks, I've been spending more hours than I can count meditating in Dragon Tower, trying to find my path to enlightenment. This morning, at the break of another glorious dawn above the Dragon Dog Dojo, my student, a Ren Dog, came to me with a request that would not only pique my interest, but potentially change my destiny forever. With fear in his eyes, my student Rendog handed me this book, and within the pages of this dusty tomb, he has set forth a quest for his sensei, Tamato Yoshi. Remember, young ones, the path to true enlightenment begins on every page. Greetings, Sensei. Your student Rendog requests a great favor from you. As part of my own journey toward enlightenment, I must teach you to play Minecraft. 
It would be my honor for you to be the star of my next video in your very own Let's Play episode. Should you accept this task, please turn the page and complete the quest. Good luck, Sensei. Rendog. I do not know this Minecraft that you speak of, but being a master of ninjutsu and a master of my own destiny, I pledge to do everything in my power to complete your task. And so I have spent the day and the night studying this scripture, and after much contemplation, Tamato Yoshi is confident that these six quests inside of the Minecraft are easily achievable. And so begins our journey, young ones, to lands far away, and with us we will take the best of our ninjutsu weapons. The stick of the heart will guide us even through the darkest of nights. Kaihatsu, the blade of fury, will slay even our most deadly foes. I, the shield of glory, will defend us from even the most piercing of arrows. And Haiwa, the bow of purity, will find her mark without fail. So it begins, far, far away. Speak to Doc M77 about finding an untouched Minecraft world to begin your quest. I implore you young ones to join your Sensei Tomato Yoshi on this journey. And if you do indeed find enlightenment, remember to hit the thumbs up button. For today, my friends, our destiny awaits. Hello, young one. What the heck, bro? What are you doing here? Greetings to you. What? Are you known as Dr. M77, young one? Who wants to know that and why are you here? You do realize this is a military safety zone and you cannot be here at all. Look to the ground. Don't look around too much. Oh, yes, that's right. okay. My name is Tomato Yoshi and I am your sensei. I don't know anything about military or science. I only know ninjutsu. Are you threatening me with that stick? I have been sent here on a very important quest, Mr. Dr. M. My student oh. Ren Dog has told me that you are capable of manipulating the space-time continuum. Is this Wait, in what? fact true? Ren send you? And how does he know? Wait a minute. Bro, you cannot be here. What do you want? I am on a very important quest for enlightenment, Mr. Darkham. Can you uh -huh. assist me? Yeah, not here, but yeah, technically. What do you want? I have been told by my student Ren Dog that I need to begin my life anew, somewhere far, far away. Far away? I like the sound of that. Listen, man, good that you are here. Well, kind of. Listen, man. No, 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 don't. No levers. Dude, bro, listen. Dude, dude, okay, come on. Hold on to that. Let's roll. Remember, Mr. Doc M77, the path to true enlightenment begins through every door. Yeah, right. Okay, wait. You want where? Where do you want to go? Tomato Yoshi is very fond of long walks on the beach, Mr. Doc M77. Perhaps a journey to a beach would be wonderful. So I'm, I'm doing some experiments with portals, so you might be actually talking to the right man. Okay, let's look at look at the look at the thing I gave you. It's a little um, Google map set up. Just got that. It's not working fully, but let's see. Let's fiddle around a bit. So beach, you're saying, right? That would, would be wonderful. This looks like a very dangerous land, Mr. Doc M77. Tomato Yoshi is a master ninjutsu. But even this place is perhaps too terrifying, even for him. For real? All right, man. Let me see. This should be a beach. I'm trying to get you close to the far lands, you know, like far away. Now, check ah, it. Tomato Yoshi is a big fan of the beach. But in this position, he will be underwater. And Tomato Yoshi cannot swim. He is ashamed to admit it. Dang it, man. <laughs> I really need to I really need to fully understand how this all works, man. I'm pretty much just randomly pressing oh. buttons in case you have But all right. This location looks most excellent, Mr. Doc M77. 
Indeed. Yeah. I see many crabs on the beach, and in fact, very warm water in which Mr. Tomato Yoshi can dabble his toes. This is the place. All right, bro, we got to set up the portal. But I warn you, man, this is highly unstable and experimental. I can't guarantee it puts you into the right place. Okay. Right? Remember, Mr. Doc M77. Yeah. The path to true enlightenment begins with the unknown. Wow. Mr. Doc M77, this is a wonderful sensation I'm feeling. Have you built me some sort of a meditation device? It is making my toes tingle. I enjoy it very much. Can you maybe stop jumping through it? I'm not done oh. yet, man. This portal oh. would take you to a place you don't want to go to. Oh. I need to manipulate it a I little see. bit first, you know? I feel immense power coming from this portal. In fact, I'm feeling slightly weaker, Mr. Dockham. I'm not sure what yeah. is going on. Well, obviously, yes, this is a personalized portal, and we're kind of breaking the normal Minecraft mechanics here a little bit. Oh, it needs power. So I, I allowed myself to drain your XP a little bit. Oh. Should be good now. Um, we just need to oh. quickly charge it all in there. Mm -hmm. This is rather terrifying for me, Doc. I'm not used to these sort of things. I love flowers, and I love nature, and all of these mechanics are... They're messing with my, my, my chi, Mr. So, Doc. So why don't you go for a walk oh, over there in the woods yes. a little bit? You know, I, relax I think a bit. So. I, I need to All meditate. Right. I, I'm feeling a bit woozy. I, I need to go and spend some time in nature, Mr. Doc M. I, I will right. return very shortly. Yeah, yeah. Give me, a, give me a few minutes or so, dude. Oh, hey. Hello, young one. Hey, dude. I think it worked. Yes. I'm feeling much better after spending some time in nature, Mr. Dark M77. Thank That's you. That's cool, man. You know, also, uh, I want to say sorry a little bit, oh. if, in case you think I sounded a bit rude or something. But um, yeah, um, don't don't really look down there. It's all good. You know, the thing oh, is, here is okay. a secret mi military facility. I'm not quite sure if you understand that. So technically, I could get yes. in a lot of trouble. I understand, Doc, that you. As a right. sensei of the red stone, just like I, the sensei of the ninjutsu, often can be frustrated. I understand. Oh, yes, 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 exactly, sensei. Mr. Doc M, will mm. this portal take me to what I am seeing, this beautiful beach, hopefully covered in enlightened crabs for me to play with? Is this indeed my destiny? Um, yeah, yeah. Should be good, should be good. By the way, are you a rat, good sir? That, that is a question that nobody has ever been able to answer. But remember, student Doc M, the path yes. to enlightenment begins through every portal. Konnichiwa! All right then. Oh, young ones, your sensei is feeling discombobulated. It feels as if every atom in his body has been ripped asunder and rearranged. Never before have I felt so woozy. And believe me, young ones, your sensei has enjoyed many a fine ale. But before us now lies one of the most beautiful natural sights that these old eyes have ever seen. And it seems like Dr. M77's portal technology has indeed worked. Oh, how this warm water is tingling my toes. It is a wonderful sensation indeed. But it appears this portal technology has missed its mark and we have landed on a much smaller island. Tomato Yoshi would very much like to see what that big island has to offer and perhaps discover a family of friendly crabs. But he is ashamed to say that he cannot swim and ahead of us lies a treacherous oceanic crossing. Perhaps there is another way to cross this vast expanse of crystal clear water. We have managed to complete our first quest far, far away. And our next task is called Trees of Destiny. Using your ninjutsu 
it to mastery, punch trees and craft the tools required for survival from their abundant resources. Well, Tamato Yoshi has had much experience punching wood. As a young training ninjutsu, he spent many years hardening his knuckles breaking planks of wood in the dojo. This first task, though seemingly painful, will be a cakewalk for your sensei. Your sensei has managed to craft a wooden axe, a very useful tool indeed. However, in the distance the sun is quickly setting, casting a dark shadow across this land. Tamato Yoshi can feel a very evil dread approaching, and he surely fears what abomination may unearth themselves during this deep dark night. Young ones, we are under attack. It seems some sort of skeletal beast has raised itself from the dead and has decided to attack your sensei. I, the shield of glory, may you reflect this monster's arrows. And Haihatsu, may your blade ring true in the defeat of this hideous undead monstrosity. Oh, the pain is unbearable, young ones. Many arrows have been lost in the body of your sensei. However, being a master of meditation and self-control, your sensei has managed to craft a crude wooden canoe from the wooden materials acquired. In fact, he was taught the skills of built building many years ago by his father, and together they spent many peaceful nights fishing upon the ocean to feed the village. Perhaps it will be prudent to spend the evening in this canoe and await sunrise, where Hopefully, these undead monsters will be burned to a crisp in the rays of a new dawn. And so the sun rises above us, young ones, and I have managed to clean my wounds. However, I am feeling extremely weak, and unless I can find some food to eat very quickly, I fear the fate of Tamato Yoshi may be a tragic one. So let us travel by boat to this mainland. And hopefully, within its jungle canopies, we can find a tasty morsel or two to feast on. Your sensei has ventured into the heart of this beautiful island, and indeed I have discovered there is wildlife in abundance. Behold, a wild pig! As a young child, I spent many days hunting in the forest with my father, catching wild boars and rabbits. And though it has been many years since I took a life from a living being, we are currently in a dire situation, and the small sacrifice this wild beast will make will certainly help to restore us to full health. Remember, young ones, from the perfect circle of life comes the eternal flow of destiny. Hayatsu, strike with mercy! Hiya! Hiya! Ah yes, this is a tasty morsel indeed, a barbecue pork chop. One of my favorites. And though I can fear strength returning to my muscles and bones, I fear this small meal will not be enough to return us to full health. We will need to search this island further and hopefully discover more. Another glorious wild beast has appeared, and its friendly chirping is bringing joy to Tomato Yoshi's heart. Worry not, little thing. I will not be eating you today. Your sensei has noticed an abundance of seaweed on this beach, and one of the first skills I mastered in the art of sushi was the fine art of preparing oceanic plants for consumption. Perhaps our dire food situation is not so dire after all. What a glorious inland lake I have discovered, young ones. Deep is its soul and fresh is its waters. And upon its shores lies a cool cave where your sensei can find relief from the tropical sun within its shade. There also seems to be an iron deposit within its walls. And turning to your sensei's mastery of the forge, perhaps this too may become a useful resource in time. After spending some time in the shade studying the quest book once again, our next task is to break rocks. And just as your sensei acquired some useful resources from the trees, perhaps the earth has secrets to unlock as well. The old bones of your sensei are feeling the strain of this hard labor, young ones, but he has managed to successfully excavate a handful of rocks and digging deep into his knowledge of outdoor survival. 
Your sensei is going to set up camp on the shores of this beautiful lake and attempt to fashion some sort of a fireplace from these rocks. Perhaps we could strike a spark within a cluster of these stones and name it a furnace. And within its baking cavity, cook this fresh seaweed into something tasty and edible. It seems as though your sensei's mastery in the art of sushi is paying off, young ones. Our fireplace has produced some barbecue seaweed. And though not as tasty as a pork chop, it is the sustenance of this food that I require. And although it is rather dry on the tongue, your sensei can feel the nutrients flowing through his veins. But perhaps, using his mastery of farming, your sensei can find some sort of a way to produce a sustainable source of seaweed to eat. Ah yes, Tamato Yoshi remembers the long days spent in the fields of the seaweed patties with his mother. And it was there that he mastered the art of seaweed production. Within this crystal clear lake, we will now have a tasty source of food to sustain us on our treacherous journey ahead. Young ones, is your sensei playing the Minecraft? Whatever this Minecraft experience is, Tamato Yoshi is very much enjoying it. The darkness of night has once again descended upon us, young ones, and Tamato Yoshi can feel the dread of evil returning to his soul. Once again, your sensei must fight to defend his life against the undead horde, and it has now become imperative that we find a way to not only survive these dangerous nights, but to fend off the festering evil on this island once and for all. And in the blink of an old rat's eye, our beautiful island has once again been overrun by the undead. It seems our only option, young ones, is to spend another evening in the canoe, staring up at the stars and conversing with the dolphins, while we wait for the purified rays of the sun to cleanse this place of this foul evil. But remember, young ones, within even the deepest darkness can be found the spark of enlightenment.